Yellowstone's hidden fury. Steamboat geyser erupts. Earthquakes shake the ground and Black Diamond Pool explodes. On a silent dawn in Yellowstone National Park, as mist curled above steaming pools and the air smelled faintly of sulfur, nature prepared a breathtaking show that would both astonish visitors and worry scientists. July 8, 2025, began like any other in the Norris Geyser Basin. Tourists walked along the wooden boardwalks, cameras ready to capture bubbling springs and rising vapor columns, but deep underground, a hidden force was building DOT. At 6.37 a.m., seismic monitors at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory detected the first sharp tremor. Then, in quick succession, dozens of micro-earthquakes rattled the area, their epicenters clustering around the massive steamboat geyser system. Suddenly, a thunderous roar shook the basin. Within seconds, a colossal jet of scalding water and steam erupted from steamboats to main vents. The geyser unleashed a towering fountain nearly 300 feet high, rising above pine trees and glistening in the morning sun. The sound resembled a freight train echoing across the caldera. Visitors screamed in shock and wonder. Some ran for safety, fearing a violent hydrothermal explosion. While braver souls stood frozen, filming the giant eruption with trembling hands, the eruption continued for almost 25 minutes. spraying the boardwalk and surrounding forest with sulfur-rich mist. Let's go, uh, over by Crater Spring. Hundreds of earthquakes detected. While steamboat thundered, USGS seismologists watched their screens in awe and concern. Over 300 earthquakes had been recorded in the last 48 hours across Yellowstone National Park. These included shallow quakes under Norris Geyser Basin, often indicating shifting hydrothermal pressures. Swarms near Yellowstone Lake's north shore, where magma and hot water channels twist beneath the ground. Minor tremors under the Yellowstone Caldera Rim rattling old faults and fracture zones. The largest quake, magnitude 3.1, struck near Steamboat itself during the eruption. Geologists believe the sudden geyser burst relieved hydrothermal pressure, but also triggered microfault adjustments underground. Black Diamond Pool explodes again. Only hours later, at 10.12 a.m., Yellowstone witnessed yet another terrifying, spectacle Black Diamond Pool, nestled in Biscuit Basin near Old Faithful, erupted violently. A deafening explosion tore through the peaceful basin. The shimmering blue pool turned into a roaring fountain of scalding water, steam, and rock debris. 
tourists on the boardwalk saw mud and shattered rocks flying over 500 feet into the sky, raining down across the basin. Dot rangers quickly evacuated the area. When the eruption subsided, a gaping crater-like scar was visible where the calm pool had been. Chunks of mud and broken thermophilic mat covered the boardwalks. Large rocks the size of soccer balls lay scattered hundreds of feet away, embedded into the soft earth. Scientific Analysis what is happening beneath Yellowstone? When we only look at the super eruptions, it actually looks like the time between eruptions is getting longer. Scientists immediately mobilized to study these events. Here's what they concluded. Steamboat Geyser's eruption was purely hydrothermal, driven by deep underground water superheating and explosively decompressing when pressure pathways open up. It indicates extreme heat flow, but no direct link to rising magma. Earthquake swarms are common in Yellowstone. The park averages 1,500 to 3,000 quakes per year. They occur along ancient faults and fractures and are mostly small tectonic adjustments rather than volcanic signals. Black diamond pools hydrothermal explosion happened because pressurized water beneath. The pool flashed instantly into steam, creating an expanding bubble that shattered the surface violently. This was the second major explosion since July 23, 2024, when the pool first erupted after decades of quiet. Will the supervolcano rise or erupt soon? With such dramatic events happening within hours, people across the world asked, is Yellowstone waking up? Is the supervolcano about to rise? The USGS provided careful explanations. No unusual ground uplift detected. GPS sensors around the caldera showed minor subsidence rather than inflation. No increase in volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide or carbon dioxide, which would indicate magma movement. No harmonic tremors, the deep, continuous seismic signals often preceding volcanic eruptions. It gets pressurized, super pressurized. 